In 2022, NASA made the first step towards a technology that might one day save all of us, asteroid deflection. They did it by letting a small spacecraft hit an asteroid. It's taken a few years to analyze all the data, but in a paper that just appeared, astrophysicists report that the outcomes were not quite as expected. Just what did they find and what does it mean for asteroid defense? I've had a look. The NASA mission was called DART, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, and if you've never Googled it, you should. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mission. Lift off. Falcon 9 with the DART mission on the way for humanity's first ever planetary defense test mission. DART launched in November 2021 and got on its way to the double asteroid system of Didymos and Dimorphos. Dimorphos is about 160 meters wide or so and orbits around its bigger companion roughly once every 12 hours. They're about 11 million kilometers away from Earth, too small to see as anything but a point of light with ordinary telescopes. These asteroids are not in the main asteroid belt, but circle around the Sun on their own paths. They're not immediate threats to Earth. However, they're projected to come rather close to Earth in October 2184, where close means to within plus minus 1300 kilometers. That means a direct hit has not been excluded, but we have 150 years to figure out what to do about it. It took the DART spacecraft almost 10 months to arrive at its destination. On September 26, 2022, it was then sacrificed to hit Dimorphos. This impact was seen by several telescopes on Earth and also in space, but they saw little more than evidence that the impact did happen. However, DART brought along a small Italian satellite called Lisa. Cube. It separated from the DART craft a few days before impact and then flew past the impact site. It carried two cameras that recorded the debris trajectories. The new thing is now that we finally have the analysis of these recordings. Until now, mission planners expected most of the kick would come from the spacecraft's own momentum plus a roughly uniform spray of fine dust and small pebbles. This expectation was partly based on NASA's deep impact mission from 2005 that had a probe hit a comet where exactly that happened. But the data now reveal this isn't what happened with the DART mission, not at all. The authors of the new paper say that on Dimorphos, the impact kicked out lots of boulders, some of them quite large, most of them rocketing off at high speed. And here's the kicker, quite literally. The boulder fragments carried more than three times the momentum of the spacecraft itself. Even more surprisingly, Surprisingly, those boulders didn't escape evenly in all directions. They clustered into two main directions. The researchers believe that this is because the impact site itself had two bigger boulders that were basically annihilated. So what did this do to the orbit of the asteroid? The observations we have so far agree that the DART impact shortened the orbital period of Dimorphos around its companion by approximately 33 minutes. So it definitely did something. We'll know more after the HERA mission from the European Space Agency. It launched last year in October and should arrive at the asteroid system in late 2026. Its job is to map the impact crater in high resolution and also to measure how much the orbits of the two asteroids around each other have changed. And since it's a European mission, it will also investigate whether the boulders are unionized and demand hazard pay. The overall effect of the DART impact on the path of the double system was totally negligible. This is because the DART spacecraft was so small. 
It had a mass of less than a ton, while the asteroid is estimated to weigh about 500 billion tons. The China National Space Administration also has plans for an asteroid impact test. They want to send two spacecraft to an asteroid that's roughly 30 meters in diameter. One spacecraft will do the impact and the other the observation for about a year afterwards. The mission is expected to launch around 2027 and the impact in 2028 at the earliest. What the new data analysis means is that asteroid deflection is more complicated than anticipated. It's not so much like kicking a ball, it's more like shooting clay pigeons. Though if you have an asteroid that's on a path to hit Earth, then any other path is an improvement. In summary, the good news is that we can move asteroids. The bad news is we don't really know what we're doing. So business as usual. How does that work? Why is that so? If those are questions you also like to ask, you should really have a look at Brilliant. It's a great way to practice your problem-solving skills and your critical thinking. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. What you see here is from their newly updated maths courses. No matter how abstract the topic seems, Brilliant's courses have intuitive visualizations that really click into my brain. And Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses, just what I'm interested in. And they're adding new courses each month. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.